up a little bit of everything from the Montana countryside to hobbits, UFOs, and whatever these people are doing, it's all coming up next. Your journey with Explorer HDTV starts here. If you're visiting for a weekend or you've been here all your life, Explorer HDTV will guide you through the best places in the Northwest. It's time for an adventure. Welcome to Explore HD TV. I'm your guide, Christy Gornson. We start our adventure in Northwest Montana, almost to the Canadian border, just outside the small town of Eureka, Montana, where Indian Springs Ranch has some big plans to help you enjoy big sky country and true Montana living. Northwest Montana is a place that makes you stop and take it all in. A place where it's okay to mosey and enjoy the gifts of Mother Nature. Indian Springs Ranch showcases this beautiful Montana landscape and offers visitors so much more. One of the first things you'll notice at Indian Springs Ranch is its golf course. Practice your swing at the driving range and then hit the links. The 18-hole links-style public course weaves its way through the gorgeous native grasses and sets you up for some breathtaking views. Ranch owner Dave Rogers shares his favorite holes on the course. Looking out the, the back of number 11 uh, is really neat to see the, the Montana style with the big old barn in the background. And then, of course, number six, which is probably, I think, the feature hole on the golf course is a very unique par three that looks up to the Canadian Rockies. And, you know, the snow-capped mountains look pretty nice when you're teeing off. They're kind of distracting sometimes, but they're uh, very nice to look at. When you're not awestruck by the scenery, you'll be challenged by each and every green. But watch out for the vulture. He's watching and waiting. Tucked into the natural landscape of Indian Springs Ranch are country homes you can purchase so you'll never be too far from paradise. Rather than seeing a, you know, a, a huge grid style development, we decided to do it in, uh, in small neighborhoods of 10 to 25 homes and these are all strategically placed throughout the, the property. We have over 600 acres all told with our grazing lands and, and uh, development property. Some homes are right on the golf course. Others are strategically placed on the property to make the most of the natural surroundings. Indian Springs has homes available for rent, too. So if you want a relaxing weekend of golf, horseback riding, or boating, you've got a luxurious place to stay with plenty of room for the whole family. There's all kinds of recreational pursuits here. If you like the outdoors, everything is available here. Trails for horseback riding and hiking surround Indian Springs Ranch. Several miles of peaceful walking trails take you right through the heart of the historic property. You won't lose your way on the well-cut path, but you might get lost in all the beauty. Just a few minutes from the ranch is lovely Lake Kukanusa. The locals say it's one of North America's best kept secrets and it's their favorite spot for recreation. You know, there's not very many places that you can get a 60 mile lake, and if you count into Canada, it's a 90 mile lake with uh, wide open beaches, miles of sandy beaches, and uh, you know, really nice recreation spots for everybody that isn't owned. No homes or private docks line the shores. It's the perfect place for water lovers. And Indian Springs Ranch has the perfect place to park your boat. RV sites can come with paved parking areas, a deck, bunkhouse, and a fire pit. We're trying to build more of a community than it is a resort. A place where you'll feel right at home. The charm of small town Montana, you know. For more information on Indian Springs Ranch, go to IndianSpringsMontana.com. Up next, we're headed south where you can cruise the beautiful Flathead Lake, 
raft the Flathead River, and enjoy the friendly town of Polson, Montana. Welcome home to a community grounded in stunning landscapes and enjoyment of the great outdoors. Welcome home to Indian Springs Ranch in Eureka, Montana. Now's the time to get a great deal on purchasing a home site house or RV lot. You can stay and play the 18-hole links course with a variety of one and two bedroom options. The challenging course meanders through golden native grasses of the Rockies and is open to the public. Just 45 minutes from Whitefish, Montana or Fernie, British Columbia, your recreation destination awaits you at Indian Springs Ranch in Eureka, Montana. Beautiful Flathead Lake in northwest Montana is the backdrop for our next stop. The lakeshore community of Polson, Montana sits on the south end of Flathead Lake and offers something for everyone to enjoy. When the sun rises over Polson, Montana, it's like Mother Nature has cast her magic across the land. The wildlife venture out, the mountains show their glory, and the town wakes up into a colorful display of small town USA. Polson is that place that you remember from your young times. You, you come downtown, you walk in the shops, it's mom and pops stores. You meet the people that own the business. Jackie and her husband fell in love with the charming lakeside town more than 14 years ago. We were at the top of Polson Hill, and how could you not fall in love with it? I mean, you just look down and you see the narrows and the lake, and it just takes your heart, and so we wish we'd found it 20 years earlier. Polson is only a four and a half hour drive from Spokane, Washington, and it's well worth the trip. On one side of Polson are the majestic snow-capped Mission Mountains. On the other, sparkling Flathead Lake. our little jewel. It's, it's so important to us and I don't think there's any place else around the lake that it's more beautiful. One of the best ways to get acquainted with the area is by boat. Three hour and a half cruises are offered daily on board the Shadow. You'll take in views of Wild Horse Island, some of the spectacular homes lining the lake, and magnificent scenery of northwest Montana. You'll find the shadow moored at the Quatucknook Resort. It's a gorgeous place to walk the boardwalk or rent a jet ski for the day. The Flathead Indian Nation owns the resort and offers a great casino to get your gaming on. If you're looking for a room with a view, the Quatucknook is the best place in town. For a day trip, make plans to visit Kerr Dam. It is not only beautiful, but powerful. The Kerr Dam began operation back in 1938. It's 541 feet long and 205 impressive feet high. Another reason to visit Polson? Flathead cherries, of course. Check the calendar for Polson's Cherry Fest. And pucker up because pit spitting and stem tying races are two of the favorite activities. That was one minute and 14 seconds, 15 seconds, and 16 seconds. Okay. You can't find small town fun like this just anywhere. Most of all, we have the friendly people, the people that are glad to see you come and visit. Our hospitality can't be beat anywhere. That Montana hospitality coupled with endless outdoor adventures is enough to satisfy everyone in the family. Polson has a 27-hole golf course. The Polson Bay Golf Course sits right along Flathead Lake with unbelievable views of the Mission and Swan Mountain ranges. Polson Bay prides itself on being a relaxed and friendly course. And if you want to get a little wet, grab your life jacket 
and take a whitewater raft trip down the Flathead River, one of Montana's wildest rivers. Several outfitters in the area have guided trips that will take you safely through rapids ranging from Class 1 to Class 4. In Polson, Montana, this is the closest thing to a traffic jam. No coffee needed. The rapids will get you going in the morning. A commute you won't likely forget anytime soon. For more information on Polson, Montana and all of these activities, go to PolsonChamber.com. Still to come, we're going to stay in Polson, Montana, and we're going to tour the Miracle of America Museum. It's an unbelievable place for good family fun. The Confederated Salish and Cooney Tribes invite you to the Quetucknook Resort and Casino in Polson, Montana on the shores of Flathead Lake. Enjoy lakefront rooms with a view from a private decker patio. The casino is open 24 hours a day featuring jackpots up to seven figures. The resort's full-service marina puts boating and fishing just a few steps away. Take a seasonal or chartered cruise on the 140-passenger ship. There's 5,000 square feet in full-service catering for your banquet or conference. Treat yourself to a getaway at Quetucknook Resort and Casino. The key to savings is at the Ben Franklin Variety Store. If you need anything while exploring Ponderay County, you'll find it at the Ben Franklin Variety Store. Apparel, electronics, crafts, and fabrics to housewares and sporting goods. Whatever you may have left behind can be found at the Ben Franklin Variety Store. If you don't see what you need in their store, they'll try to find it for you. Whether you're looking for exciting new products or the everyday items you depend on, Ben Franklin stocks it at a price you can afford. With two convenient locations in Cheney and Old Town, Idaho. Welcome back to Explore HD TV. Just south of the Lake City of Polson, Montana, a few miles, you'll find an oasis of Americana. It's called the Miracle of America Museum, and there is literally something for everyone. <laughs> Jump on board and let your imagination run wild. Planes, trains, and automobiles are just the beginning here at the Miracle of America Museum. Appropriately located on Memory Lane in Polson, Montana, the museum will take you back to a time when steam moved tractors and sidecars looked like this. Just about every aspect is, of American life is, is covered. Gil Mangles and his wife Joanne founded the museum back in 1985. All they needed was some land for their collectibles. We were looking for an ideal place to start a museum and uh, frontage location is, is everything. <laughs> you can find the museum on US 93 near the junction of Highway 35 in Polson, Montana. Just listen for the sound of the good old days. Some of these oldies but goodies may not be rumbling down the road anymore, but there's something to behold. The vintage motorcycle display could make a collector weep. Harley, Ariel, and Indian all welcome you to drool. We've got our antique motorcycle collection as uh, the largest uh, on display in the state, dating back to 1912. Outside on the museum's grounds, you can touch, climb on, and ride some of the relics. Kids love this place. You can send them off on their own train ride, or they can climb into a Huey helicopter for hours of playtime. Adults like Gil get to act like kids. Gil will drive you around in an old army tank, and you can play with all the controls in an old fighter jet. We've got a lot of unusual military vehicles and a tribute to the veterans, not to glorify war whatsoever, but you know, we've had uh, men and women uh, sacrificing on the battlefront and the home front as well to uh, secure freedom for people and, and we want to pay tribute to them. Maybe it's a military cover-up, but the Miracle of America Museum has an Area 51 too. I think we've got everything but a brothel, and uh, they can go to Wallace or Butte or, or Haver for that. Only here in Polson, Montana, can you hobnob with aliens and learn about the pioneers of America at the same time. It's good old-fashioned fun, guaranteed. We guarantee uh, satisfaction or their money back, and uh, they don't ask for their money back. A lot of people uh, leave extra money in the tip jar. <laughs> 
For more information on the Miracle of America Museum in Polson, go to miracleofamericamuseum.org. It's time to beam up from the spaceships at Area 51 and use some fairy magic to head to the land of fairies, hobbits, and sprites. Coming up next, we head to a guest retreat just outside of Trout Creek, Montana. Nestled into the hills outside of Trout Creek, Montana is an enchanted abode straight out of a Tolkien novel. We're at the Hobbit House where a magical experience awaits. The King and Queen of the Shire have arrived. Meet Steve and Chris Michaels, the owners and creative genius behind this unique abode, the Hobbit House. To say they're having fun with this venture is an understatement, and they want to share that fun with you. Who is it? Who is it? Oh, it's the mama! <laughs> hey. Welcome to the Troll House. Oh, the Hobbit House is built into the Montana hillside on several completely secluded acres. Yeah, they can lay out here naked if they want to. Guests have the entire Shire to themselves, if you don't count the fairies, hobbits, and sprites who also share the property. Bilbo's a lot of fun. He drinks a lot of ale. He has parties all hours of the night. That's kind of why we put him way over at the other end of the Shire. In fact, Steve's imagination with the help of a few Lord of the Rings movies, has created a beautiful and magical place to be. Just look around. They have little, little steps going up to his brother's place, and he's got a little area where he sits. And then this guy is kind of a neat freak. He likes to get his his broom out there and he sweeps, sweeps the little stuff off. And this is kind of spooky. This is where the trolls live. And this is the, the troll mine. You notice they have their club set up on the outside there and, and the lights going down into the cave. He might be in. You have to ring the bell and see if he's in. Yeah. Okay. And then open the door. See if he's in there. Oh, there he is. There he is. While the fairies will keep you entertained, the real Hobbit House is made just for humans seeking some solace. It's actually one dome. It's called a, a monolithic dome home is where we bought it. The kitchen is handcrafted with granite countertops and beautiful woodworking. The living room has direct TV and Wi-Fi. The master bedroom is illuminated with the Hobbit theme. Steve has thought of everything. We have always had a, a, a good imagination. And I think, oh, what about this? I mean, even the, even the drawers are, have the little rock handles that open up, and, and we have a Gandalf stained glass window in there, and just every little detail I could think of. Right down to the ring dangling from the loft. Outside, you can barbecue or relax by the fire pit under the big Montana sky. You can stroll through the fantasy world around you, and you might even see the resident bald eagle who likes to keep his eye on the Hobbit House activity. Well, no, this, is, this is Frodo's house. You know, in the book, Frodo was, is the nephew of Bilbo Baggins. And so we thought it was, you know, the guy's getting older. He's, he's the, you saw the honeymoon suite over there, the Hobbit honeymoon suite. Notice it had a padlock on it. It has a padlock, a big lock <laughs> on there, and, and there's action in there once in a while, so we kind of have to watch out. But. The Hobbit House will surely bring out the kid in you just like it's done for Steve and Chris. In fact, Steve has written a book called How to Die with a Smile on Your Face. Seems he's got that one figured out. <laughs> to reserve your adventure at the Hobbit House, just head to hobbithouseofmontana.com. 
From the imagination of Tolkien to the creative mind of Kirkland Cutter. Up next, we're headed to Medellin Falls, where the architect's creation has sparked a renaissance in this tiny northeastern Washington town. Come visit Ponderay County for a summer of fun. The Ponderay Water Trail is a great way to see the sights from Newport to the Canadian border. At the Lavender Festival in Newport, you can sample wine and culinary delights, listen to live music, or shop at the open air market. Don't miss the powwow or county fair. Spend the Labor Day weekend at the Affair on Main Street in Medellin Falls, a car show, a bike show, and much more. And the Newport Music Festival's three days of bluegrass and folk is the perfect way to finish off your summer of fun. The Holiday Inn Express Hotel and Suites in Kalispell is located in the heart of the Rocky Mountains and at the steps of Glacier National Park, making it a great place to work and play. Your stay will be a comfortable one, whether you're here for business or adventure. With an indoor pool, workout room, business center, and meeting space, you'll find everything you need for your stay. Enjoy a complimentary hot breakfast before visiting one of nine area golf courses, Flathead Lake, or Whitefish Mountain Ski Resort. The Holiday Inn Express in Kalispell wants your stay to be an experience. Welcome back to Explore HD TV. We've crossed a couple of borders now and we're in beautiful Medellin Falls and it celebrates its history here at the Cutter Theater, built in 1912 by famed architect Kirtland Cutter. Tucked up into the northeasternmost corner of Washington is the small town of Medellin Falls. The Ponderay River runs through it, carving out some amazing canyons and picturesque valleys that draw tourists from all over the northwest. With a population of just over 200, the town has quaint shops and restaurants and one big time theater. Theater, as it's now known, was originally the town's schoolhouse. Historical photos hang on the walls, giving you a glimpse into the lives of students who've long since graduated. The building operated as a school until the early 1970s when it fell into disrepair. It was full of junk. It was damaged, the roof leaked. It was in terrible condition. The, the head maintenance person for the school district told the board, it's dangerous to be in here and he wanted it demolished. And it was that close to being demolished. Eva Gale Six was the driving force behind the resurrection of the Cutter Schoolhouse. Then started with just volunteers. I'll tell you that those were hard years. There was no heat in it, there was no water in it. Under her guidance, with the help of several grants and a lot of blood, sweat and tears, the school was transformed into the Cutter Theater you see today. Those seats there came out of the old deja vu in Spokane. And uh, we hauled them up on winter roads, all kinds of volunteers offering their rigs. It's that kind of community spirit that puts the Cutter Theater into the spotlight. Not only is it a place now for theatrical productions, it's a place for afternoon tea parties and luncheons. It's a community center, a dance hall, and art gallery. For Susan Hobbs, the executive director of the Cutter Theater, it's much more. It's a reason for the smallest child to stand taller. Will you help me plant this green of wheat? Not I. Not I. It's a source of pride that's very hard to quantify. That pride and enthusiasm by the theater group has attracted some well-known artists over the years. We have a lot of people who are interested in us that I don't even have a calendar for, but they're gonna be with us in 2012. The town of Medellin Falls has embraced its newfound artistic outlet. On this day, the beautiful creations of the local quilting group were on display in the theater's art gallery. And many locals take part in the plays and musicals here, whether it's costume making, set building, or acting. Kirkland Cutter probably never intended for his schoolhouse to become a theater, but you can almost hear the applause of the past for the Cutter Theater of today.
Jazz great Alice Stewart is just one of the acts in an exciting lineup here at the Cutter Theater. If you would like more information on the shows here, go to CutterTheater.com. And to learn more about the scenic Medellin Falls in Ponderay County, Washington, head to Porta-US.com. Hopefully we've given you some great ideas of things to do here in the Inland Northwest and you're already starting to plan your next trip. For information on all we featured here, go to our webpage at KXLY.com. See you next time. We've crossed a couple of borders now and we're in Ponderay County, Washington. Washington. I need a pedicure. <laughs> They're mocking me. <laughs>